Hi everyone, welcome back to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen. If you are new to my channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because you'll be the first to be notified whenever I upload a video. In this video, I'll be making some okra soup Gambian style. Some will say super kanja. In some parts in Louisiana, they will say gumbo. You can make okra soup with fish. You can make it with meat. You could mix fish and meat together. You can make okra soup white. You can make it with the palm oil without the palm oil. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I make this okra soup slash super kanja slash gumbo without any further ado, let's get cooking. All right, everyone, let's get started. I have my okra all cut up. I have few of them and I have some that I didn't cut up yet. I want to show you guys how I cut my okra. I'm going to use some salt, kosher salt. And I'm going to use two large onions and two habanero peppers. I am also going to be using some shrimp maggi with some maggi cubes. In my okra soup, I'm going to add some shrimp. I have my smoked catfish here, all nicely washed. And I also have some whitening, smoke whitening that I bought in, a, in my local grocery store. And I also have some beef stripe. I believe they call it shaki. Here I have some few couple of um, cow foot and some goat meat. Everything was nicely washed. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to blend my onions. gonna blend some onions and some pepper this will get me ready to cook my cow food and my goat meat if you don't have a pressure cooker you can you can do this method on a regular pot but it will take you a very long time like I always say pressure cooker if you have a pressure cooker and you're cooking any type of meat it will definitely cut your cooking time in half instead of um, boiling the meat and the cow food in a regular pot it's gonna really take a while so I always do my meats like that I will definitely put it in a pressure cooker and cook it so that will be faster so I have my habanero pepper in there and my maggi cubes my shrimp maggi cubes I'm gonna add some salt at this point this is basic this is just to kind of like season up my 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 beef and my cow food while it's boiling and then I'm gonna add some water into the blender Some people would just basically use plain water just to boil their meat but I usually when I'm boiling my meat or, or doing any type of season cook or whatever it is I always use this method so I'm gonna pour in my blended onions and my habanero pepper into the meat and add some water into it This so will give the meat, like I said, some flavor. I'm gonna add my shaki, which is my beef tribe. And then I'm gonna turn on my um, pressure cooker and let it cook. It all depends, you could cook it for 60 minutes, you could cook it for 45 minutes. So as you can see, I already have some okra cut up already. 
so what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna show you the old method that i know growing up as a kid this is how i normally used to or this is how majority of people used to cut their okra one by one which is time consuming you just take one okra and split it in half and cut it one by one on it until it's finished but this method you can gather up couple of okra and just cut them all at once which is so quick and easy instead of using one okra one at a time and cut it as you can see i have like six okra all joined together as i'm cutting it on the chopping board so quick so quick before you know it you already cut all the okra up instead of cutting it one by one and here we go my okra is all cut up now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna cut up my smoked catfish into three pieces and you want to make sure you wash your smoke cut fish really good when you buy it wash it with salt and water take all because you never know maybe there's some sand in it you just never know but you want to make sure you wash them really good so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna peel out the skin of my smoke whitening fish that i bought on from my local store grocery store i believe it seems like when they smoked it they smoked it with the skin on it and and the scale because when i look it looks like the scale is still attached to the skin and i don't want that in my soup as you can see right there if they would have probably cleaned the scale out I wouldn't mind adding the skin into my soup but if it if they leave this the scale into the fish on the fish I don't want it in my soup so I'm just gonna peel the skin off like so you can find this in your local grocery store it depends where where you go or the location that you live in they always have them all nicely smoked already I'm gonna be coming up with um, how to smoke your own fish too. I'll come up with that video if you guys want to know how to smoke your own fish at home so that you won't have to buy it smoked. So as you can see I cut up my cat smoked catfish on my whitening smoke whitening fish. So I have a little bit of trouble here with my pressure cooker. I'm missing a piece or something happened I don't know really what happened and this pressure co cooker is pretty new so it wasn't really doing the job well for me this is the second time I'm using this pressure cooker so I decide to take the meat and the, my shaki and my cow food cow food and put it in a regular pot because like I said the pressure cooker wasn't doing the job for me um i don't know like i said i miss a uh, there's a missing part that i i don't know where it went so i took some of the i took the meat and now i'm gonna put it in a pot and continue boiling it from there initially this is what i was saying like if you don't have a pressure cooker just simply cook it in your regular pot it should be fine but it just it's just that it would take a long time but when you use a pressure cooker it it does cut your cooking time in half so i'm gonna let that cook for a little bit so that the cow food and my my meat will be really softened to the texture that i want so i think i've been cooking it for an extra 45 minutes and this is the softness i was looking for everything is nicely done So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put one cup of palm oil. This palm oil is so fresh. It's so pretty. Like I said, if you are a non-African or you can't find palm oil anywhere, you want to make this dish, this gumbo, this super kanja or okra soup and you don't have palm oil, don't sweat it. You can always make okra soup white without the palm oil. 
you can make it white without the palm oil but i'm pretty sure you can find these palm oil in your local grocery store pretty much a store where they it's an international store where they sell all kinds of food like f different countries it's called palm oil you will see sometimes it will say zombie on it if you don't remember the name just you know just say you're looking for a red african palm oil and you can you can purchase it and they're not really expensive i got mine from a friend of mine that sells african food her name is narsen and i also have a a, a friend of mine also that also sell um, palm oil and african food his name is charles and hajom if you guys want to check them out if you guys are interested i will um be happy to give you guys their number to see if you guys can have some um african stuff to purchase from them narsen or charles king or hajom hajom king they sell african supply from africa because i know it's hard so what i'm gonna do here is i just mix up my gari i'm gonna be enjoying my okra soup with gari you wanna i didn't measure i think it's about two cups of gari mix it with a really hot boiling water and wrap it up in a plastic and let it sit for a little bit that's what i'm gonna be enjoying my gari with you can enjoy this with fufu pounded yam or rice so i put my catfish in the pot let it cook a little bit so i'm gonna take it out because i didn't want it to break now i'm gonna add my okra into the the sauce like i said if you don't have palm oil don't sweat it you can make this gumbo super kanja okra soup with palm oil or without palm oil So as you can see, I'm adding some bicarbonated sodium into my okra. This makes the okra really extra slimy and it also keeps the, the okra, it, it still keeps the, the greenness of the okra. It would not change in color. In, other, in, in Gambia, we call, if you don't have lubi, I think they call it lubi. It's like a hard white stone like this. They put it into the, the the okra it makes the okra extra slimy and also keep the okra green you know so if you can't find it i don't know other name for it but in gambia we call it lubi it's like white stone so as you can see i'm adding my african yellow habanero pepper it's habanero pepper like powdered just like canyan pepper but it's habanero i also added some more shrimp um maggi in there so what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna add my smoked whitened fish into the soup let that cook a little bit this is optional you don't have to i love mushroom so i'm gonna add some mushroom into my okra soup and i'm also gonna float some three habanero peppers into my okra soup as well if you don't like sh um, mushrooms you don't have to add mushroom into your okra soup i find it really nice it goes well with the okra soup it it's very meaty when you're eating it it's just like it add more more texture into your soup now i'm gonna add my shrimp into the soup as well this soup is so delicious when it was done it is so delicious it was so rich i enjoyed it with my gari like I said, you could cook it with street leaf, just seafood. You don't have to use um, meat. I'm going to add a little bit of more palm oil into my soup. But palm oil, um, okra soup doesn't require a lot of palm oil, guys, because you're not talking about cooking okra stew. You're talking about cooking okra soup. I hate when people cook okra soup and you can see all the palm oil floating on top of the soup nobody wants to drink oil if you say okra soup you don't want to put a lot of palm oil into your okra soup because that's really not okra soup okra soup is not supposed to have a lot of palm oil in it as you can see voila after a couple um hours or minutes cooking my okra soup all combined well together my okra soup is ready and like i said this okra soup i'm gonna be enjoying it with 
my gari you can enjoy it with fufu pounded yam you can enjoy it with white rice you know whatever rocks your boat but today i'm gonna be enjoying my okra soup with some gari and voila if you guys really enjoy this video and you are new to my channel while you are at it please hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and family hit the like button and always come back for more you'll be the first to be notified whenever i upload a video as you can see my super kanja my okra soup slash gumbo is ready it's so simple it's not it's not science at all it's so simple to make everything requires boiling there's no frying there's no nothing because it's soup as you can see my gari is ready which i mix with my warm hot water and wrap it in a plastic bag you can also find this gari in the same local international store that sells african stuff jamaican stuff whatever it is shops that sell different um, varieties of um, different country food gari is pretty much made out of yucca scraped into a powder like thing and and um that's what gari is so like i said if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up leave your comment down below i'll be coming up with more delicious recipe for you guys i hope you guys enjoy this super kanja gumbo slash okra soup and i will see you guys in my next video enjoy look how delicious guys look how delicious it is so yummy guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate everyone for the support thank you so much Ta -ta. bye see ya